Well, I started putting the rafters up. I've got half of them up. It's kind of a slow go. It's a little bit of an awkward position to get them up in there, but so far I've been able to, to handle it. I'm having to run a generator so that I can have my drill and my impact driver. You can see I had to put a come along up there. I had to pull that in about a sixteenth of an inch, just enough to get the the tail on on this side over here to drop down. I've got some braces on the bottom that I'll take off. It's just one before that I showed you that I put on there when I put them all together. I'm leaving them on for right now. That's the one I was looking for since early this morning. I had to pull that in just about a sixteenth of an inch to get my rafters to slide down over the plate. But they're all up, praise the Lord. It's been a hot, hot, hot day. In the morning I'll move this uh, tie beam over to this gable rafter and scribe out and cut out what I need to to get it on the layout. But they're up and I'm happy. look better when I take those one befores off. I'm putting up the last uh, the little D braces at the top. I've got them all on except for the the ones that go on this uh, tie beam here and the one at the other end. I've got this fit and I'm just going to shoot it on with a, an 18 gauge finish gun so it doesn't make a too big of a hole at the bottom and then I can drill the holes here and uh, put my lag bolts in. You can see I've got my clamp here. This just gives me something to butt against. I've come in two and a quarter from the outside edge and made a line on the beam. And on the post, I came in an inch and a half, which kind of centers the, the brace on the post and on the beam. I had to shut the generator off. I've got enough air in my compressor to shoot this on, and then I'll have to fire the generator back up. I'll spare you the noise of that thing and drill the holes to go into the post and to the top plate beam. Let's see if we can get this on there. I think it's where it's supposed to be. And that'll hold it there until I get get these holes drilled and uh, get my lag bolts in. I think that'll work. I'm using a, a hot dip galvanized 5 16th uh, 4 inch lag bolt, which seems to be really be holding good. I don't want to use the impact driver on this. I'm going to go, I want to crank these in by hand so I can kind of tell where I'm at as far as how much pressure or torque I'm putting on these bolts.
Well, it's looking pretty good. Not too bad of a fit. I think that'll pass inspection. I'm flushing these braces on the outside of the tie beam and the outside edge of the post because there'll be some boards that comes down and goes down this uh, the angle of the brace here. got all those little braces up there was 24 all total my next step will be to put the lathing on the rafters to get ready for the metal and then I'll come along the, above those knee braces at the bottom and I'm going to put board and, and batten in that area keep people from falling off I've got all the lath up I did not video that it was raining the day I put that up and I couldn't get the cameras out but it's up on both sides and the metal is ordered I'm just waiting for it to come in I'm making a little wall at the bottom this comes up about 38 and a half inches and when the uh, the cap goes on top of the wall it'll be about 39 and a quarter and this will just give people walking across the bridge a little security of not falling off and I think it kind of adds to the looks of the bridge on the inside you can still see the knee braces at the bottom they go up against the post I did not want to cover those up so they're exposed I've got the framing up across here this just gives me something to screw the boards to I actually have three places to uh, run the screws in I'm using a two inch screw because I don't want the screws to come through on the other side and I'm screwing into the girder you can see I've got a little ledger it's just a piece of cedar and I'm holding it down an inch from the top of the girder and just screw it into the oak. I've measured to the center and I'm putting a board on either side of the center. You can see my little line there. And I just plumb down and got a mark on the girder. And I'm putting a board on either side, just working that way. These braces have a lag bolt, a 3 8 lag bolt that goes through into the post and I'll come back and I'll put a peg in that hole to fill it up and I'll make it look kind of like it's just pegged together which the pegs are really just a, an ornamental thing I know you can't see them but I've got this on my mark here and here and I'm just going to scribe the back side of it just a couple marks and then cut that off then I'll put uh, three screws in. Much more and it'd be out of my reach. I'll connect those two marks that I made. I 
I'm standing on a piece of plywood here because it's a little bit wet down here in the bottom of this ditch here. I'm pre-drilling these holes at the bottom because I don't want it to split. coming down 20 and a half to the center of this cross piece here. I'll put a batten strip over this, over the, where the boards butt up against each other. And there'll be a, a ribbon that, ac across the top of them where I can butt my batten strips up there. And I'll cut a 30 degree angle on the bottom of it, a beveled back. That's just something I like to do. Glad to have that part done. I sure wish I had the metal today. Nice overcast cool day. It'd be a good day to be putting that up. Mm -hmm. 